What was supposed to be a people-oriented event turned out to become political, with supporters of both the former Speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly, Monday Muya, and the present Speaker, Sharif Oborewori, chanting solidarity songs. But that did not stop Governor Ifan Yokoa and his team from going ahead with the plans of the day. The inspection of projects in Sapele and Ethiop local government areas of the state. The Sapele Technical College is next to be inspected. Governor Koa is pleased with the quality of work. The beliefs promoting technical education is important for development. Governor Koa also commissions roads in Ogara. I want to congratulate the Ministry of Works for delivering this project on time, and I hope that the road users will be good to use of this road. The visit extended to the palace of the Uvie of Ogara. While he appreciates government's intervention, it's also an opportunity for him to make some demands. The 33 KV line for the teaching hospital that was damaged and which required the sum of 650,000 naira to fix when at the time it happened has now become a big problem requiring over 7 million naira to fix due to activities of vandals. This is very sad and we regret this action of the vandals. <coughs> Many roads in Ogara have become bad and require your, your attention, Your Excellency. This includes the major township express road, hospital road, Scott road, and Obadi road that require second layer as asphalting to save it from quick deterioration. There's more to be done as Governor Okowa and his inspection team move from the palace of Tomato Cluster Farm in Amukwe before completing the tour at the Jesse Access Road Dualization Project. <laughs>